snappers dish, bro. All right, guys. Today we're here on the BMX Kids channel. We're gonna teach you how to manual. We're gonna teach you how to get that front end up, kids. Ready? All right. <laughs> um, the first step, I think, is just learning. If you don't know how to lift your bike up, it's just learning how to lift your bike up. I'd say probably a good amount of speed, don't you say? Yeah. Probably like a good three cranks in. Just learn how to like, just learn how to do this. Learn how to lift your bike. Simply just lift up. But yeah, first learn how to do that controllably. Just like a good pickup, not like super dramatic to where you loop out, but just like a good pickup to like right there. That's like where you're gonna want a manual. So I'll teach you guys how to loop out because you're gonna learn like as you're manualing, you're gonna learn how to like bail off of the manual. If you're learning and you're like learning how to do the lift up like I was saying, and you bail, make sure you take your feet off. Make sure you always bail and just take your feet off. Don't do this and like get stuck and like fall back. So like the main key is just learning how to bail because when, especially when you're going like really fast, you might like loop out. So like running is the main thing. So yeah. All right, so like the main key, I'm gonna teach you guys how to even lift your bike up. Most of you guys, when you first try to manually, you're probably gonna like already shift your weight back. You guys will probably try to start back here and lift, but that's not gonna work, don't do that. You wanna start kind of over your bike like this, stay center balanced and then drop all your weight back. So you just kind of lift it up. Drop. So it's kind of like a weight shift thing because that's even like how you manual because when you're back, that's like a certain balance point. So you start here and just drop instead of like staying back and trying to lift. Start here and just lift. And then make sure, I don't know if you guys know, you should, make sure your feet are always centered. Don't ever do this or like vice versa. Just keep them very flat. You want flat feet. So the main thing when you first start trying to manual at a certain distance, you want to pick a certain starting point and an end point. Even if it's literally this small box, tell yourself that you wanna start with your front wheel, pick it up, and manual all the way through with your back wheel. As you like start certain points, you can progress to more like farther distances. So, let's do that. So just cruise up, just lift back, step down. And then you kind of just like progressively like start going farther and farther. It truly does help. So now that I got those two squares, for instance, we're gonna do like this square to the last square now. Right there, the last oh, that one. one. Right there, so. All righty, I'm gonna do a long one for you guys now. Don't get overwhelmed about how long I'm going. I just, I've manualed for years, this is practice. But as I'm manualing, watch how I start the manual and watch how I'm just nice and chill in the manual and just watch how I simply end the manual. And if I loop out, then you guys will watch how I loop out. But yeah, just pay attention to the steps. Remember, just over the bars, all your weight back, keep that nice, nice center balance. You're gonna either like bend your legs a little. It kind of just helps with the balance. I'll teach you guys that in a little bit. You're gonna start, then you're just gonna chill in your manual. Trying it up the hill is a little challenging, but it kind of helps. So, boom. Easy way to bail out, just loop out, let go of your bike. Don't throw it. I mean, sometimes if you're going fast, you can just throw it. Don't try to like hold on to your bike. It's kind of dangerous. The center balance for even doing a manual, it's kind of like in this like vicinity. It's kind of like over your seat, but over the back of your tire too. If you go back more, you're gonna loop. And honestly, it does depend on your chain stay. Some of your guys' bikes are gonna have really long chain stays, which is gonna require a little yeah. bit more like pull. But in, in the end, I think if you have a longer chain stay, you'll be better at manuals, truthfully. So just remember to kind of like start where I said, nice center balance. Don't start back here, because then you, it's just gonna be like weird to get into that manual. So stay over your bars, and then you just drop your weight right there. You just kind of drop it right over that seat and it just happens. It's just, you can tell right there, it's just balance. Remember, speed is your virtue when you're doing like a manual because if you don't have no speed, like the balance point is really like, really iffy, especially when you're turning when you're doing a manual, it helps when you have speed. So the main thing when you do a manual too is just really like relaxation. I say that about like a lot of my tricks, I just try to stay relaxed. But um, main thing is just, chilling, staying over your bike. It's kind of like a, just think of it as real lightweight. Don't pull back, 
but just nice center, center weight and just chill. Even when you're like hopping up something, you're not gonna like hop up and slam on it. When you hop up to a manual, you'll land like really light. So let's, let's do a demonstration. So I'm gonna show you guys how to normally like hop up on a ledge and the difference between like a hop manual to a ledge. You'll be able to tell like how my weight is and like what I do differently. So this is a normal hop. Just stay, your center balance, boom. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to hop into a manual. It's a little bit different. Just use the steps that I taught you of like staying back like over your seat. You might loop out, especially when hopping onto a ledge because you tend to lean back a little bit more. If that happens, just use the bailing method I taught you and you'll be fine. So you hop up and just stay back a little bit. Cool. See how like when I hopped on the ledge, I like landed at like a nice ease. Well, like when you land the manual on hopping onto something, that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna feel really easy. You're gonna land in it and it's just gonna go. No matter what, if, if you're not a manual, you can learn how to like hop manual onto anything. It just is gonna take a little bit of practice, but it's fun once you get them. You'll be able to link like a lot of lines, which I love to do. Let me teach you guys how to drop manual off a ledge. Like if you were to like, let's just say hop tires on something, you hop tires and then you want to drop manual. I'm gonna show you guys how to like drop off that ledge and set into a manual nice and comfortably. So when you first do it, I want you to like hop and like try to like hop into it. Don't like try to hop into the manual at all. When you're dropping off a ledge, just set, just like gently just set your back down. No work. So you go up and then you kind of just lean back. And you kind of just act like you're, you kind of just act like you're just kind of manualing off of the ledge and it works. Alrighty, so I'm gonna do another demonstration of like the drop manual off a ledge. Just simply pull up like you're actually like manualing off the ledge and just act like you're gonna land in that manual and it works usually. But. Kind of just concentrate with it. Don't stress. Don't stress, kids. But yeah, once you do that, see you can like pop up on a ledge manual around link back to it alrighty so let's just take it back to like simply learning how to do the manual instead of like the hop up manual or like the drop manual this is like the perfect example that will teach you how to manual like from this line all the way to here that's like the perfect space I'd say that will teach you like that perfect balance point and then you'll you'll actually like progress from there which is in my opinion, the best thing to do is just pick like a good amount of space and go from there. Step one, stay over, lean back. Sit. So once you get like pretty dialed at your manual, you're gonna like probably get bored with it. So you're gonna wanna take it to different things. So let's say like you do a manual and hop up a curve or something. So we're gonna teach you how to do like a manual right now. And then just simply like a nice simple pro hop on flat ground, nothing crazy. Go. Just get a simple. So at first, when you realize that when you're doing the manual to like pro hop, you're gonna realize that it's a lot like, in my opinion, it's a lot easier than pro hop because you're already propped up at a certain position. Even when I do my manual bar, sometimes I'll like end up falling back because you're already like really propped up. So what you wanna do is when you're doing that manual, you stay over that center balance, but you're gonna have this tendency to like loop out, especially when you hop, you're gonna wanna do your body's gonna make you want to do this when you hop. You're gonna go because of your like your bike's just gonna want to go under you. So what I do when I do manual hops, I try to manual, and then right before I do that hop, I go back to my center and just kind of like lift it all up at once. So you kind of just manual, manual, and then just go back and just lift it. Might sound a little difficult, but once you actually start manualing and you learn like the balance of your manual, you'll understand. You want to pick like objectives, parking spaces really help, any lines, cracks to your house. Uh, one thing that helped me when I was a kid, when I'd pedal from place to place, I noticed like I said earlier, speed really helps you. So like when I was younger, I'd pedal from place to place and like try to mob, 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 and then just hold manuals for as long as I can. And that's what truly taught me. It's just like trying to find that balance point. Sometimes you'll loop out or sometimes you'll drop them. But in my opinion, I think speed helps the most, so. Try some speed. Alrighty, so once you learn how to manual, you're gonna wanna take it to different setups. So I'm gonna take it to this for you guys and I'm gonna hop up manual around, 180 off. Personally, like one of my favorite tricks.
So yeah, that's uh, my steps personally of how I learned how to manual and I teach a few others as well. It works. Maybe not. I'm just kidding. All right, a shout out to Feeble Life because it's all about balance. Uh, we the people, Herb Bauer, you guys keep me rolling. Thank you very much. Um, follow me on Instagram if you have any questions. You can just uh, DM me, whatever, hit me up. But yeah, subscribe to the BMX Kid. Stay tuned for more videos and peace. Daily uploads.